Hey guys, today's video, I, I'm required to do this, I didn't make this up, but I asked to do this video, I, this is not my idea, <laughs> and it's taken me only two months to do because I didn't want to do it, because apparently I take a lot, and uh, somebody thought it'd be helpful information, so today's video is how to take a good bathroom pick, because obviously I must be an expert at it, or uh, I wouldn't have been asked to do it. First thing that you want to do is make sure you don't look totally like crap. Which I do, but this is an educational video, so we'll just pretend I don't. Very important step is make sure you don't look like ass. Um, like this. This is no makeup face out of the shower, so we must put our makeup on. You gotta make sure your mirror is clean. So I purposely left mine a little dirty. I like to use Norwex products to clean my mirror because they work amazing. And so, and this just gets rid of all that nasty stuff. What is that? Okay, I think that's pretty good. You want to make sure your mirrors are clean. Nobody likes a dirty mirror and that's what they'll notice. So no matter how awesome you look in your picture, you, your spots will get pointed out. Also make sure your countertops are clean. I don't particularly pay attention to that as well because I'm busy. I don't really care. Second thing is make sure it's bright enough because when you're old like me, when the lighting's dark, all your crap shows on your face. So you have to find out, and the only way you can find out is by taking lots of pictures of yourself, what your good angles are and what your not so good angles are. Okay, for example, straight ahead, not so good. This is my bad side. This is my good side. Like, I like this side and I don't like this side. So most of my pictures I will be facing a little bit that way. So I'm totally asymmetrical, which I know beauty is supposed to be um, symmetrical, but I am asymmetrical, totally. Another thing is, I'm a square, I'm blocky, so you'll never see me straight on because I have a short torso. I think that's why I have abs, but um, short. So in order to make that look different, I will always angle this way, and then you get a thinner waist, like that. Wide, look at that, I'm so wide. But if you turn to the side, look at me! Skinny. Okay, here, you're gonna see something scary. These are abs, not... Okay, oops, I'll try to relax. And my pants. I'm wondering if I can get unsexier pants on right now. <laughs> anyway, so, just to show you, when you flex, okay, I want you to blow out. And then turn. See, oblique. Not. Okay, relaxed. See, flexing, blowing out. And then you turn here, and if I'm going straight on, again, I'm a square. Also, if I turn, my shoulder is closer to the focal length of the lens, so it's gonna look bigger. But if I turn, it looks better. So I'm turning, you know, to get the angle, and then tilt your head slightly, this, check yourself, focus, and then if I turn, that's gonna look bigger. So then we do this, and click. Chin up, hides the bags, etc. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this video. <laughs> so, take a couple pictures. And depend if you want to pimp your logo, okay? Or if you want to make your shoulder pop out more, hand on the hip. And turning. So you have to take at least 20 and find the good one. Now, for you girls that think um, booty's awesome, all the not flexed, flex. See that? See how that makes a difference? Flex, not flexed. Flexed, not flexed. I gotta go to the gym. 